Hello there guys, welcome to Borderlands Steel. This week, as uh, Birkin and Troxus aren't here to play Europa Universalis 4, I'll be playing Borderlands 2 here with my friend Apple. So, uh, before we start things off, we have to, or, yeah, I have to explain some things. We aren't doing just a normal playthrough of Borderlands 2. If you notice, we already started. There's a white there. There's a white weapon there. Do you see that? Oh, it's yours. All right. Um, we we haven't started in the in the tutorial area thingy because we're already level seventy two. What we're going to do is going to do what I like to call a overpowered run, because it's not it's still not OP one or OP eight. We're just gonna uh, we leveled up to level seventy two and we're going to do the whole campaign again. So uh, as we're level seventy two, we're already spec into our uh, what you might call them skills? Yeah. So I'm a macromancer. I'm playing its gauge, and my two uh, my two main focuses are best friends forever, and ordered order chaos. So um, I'm spec mainly into dealing tons of damage, and no accuracy at all. My death trap is just specking to our sh shooting us, because uh, we both use exploit based builds not kind of exploit just an oversight uh if you use the fiber which is a, a quest item dropped from uh, mal in the reading blight uh you should see that the damage numbers apart from being absolutely absolutely fake because that's how this weapon works um they don't have any multipliers so when you shoot something eight uh, not eight nine bullets come come out of it so our, our shield, which is the B shield, amplifies our damage by about 620k damage. So every shot I do is 9 times 621k damage. And why does the fiber work? Another, uh, and not other pellet based guns? Because the fiber doesn't state the 9 pellets it drops, so the, the B doesn't divide by 9. There are some other weapons which work like this. Uh, a great example would be the Sandhawk Apples is going to use. Can you shoot it? Uh, uh, just shoot one. Uh, again, please? Yeah, you see it's it shoots like a little bird. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 pellets. So it's exactly the same thing, same thing as the Fiverr, but it's an SMG. And his legendary cat build, or in this case class mod, uh, helps him with the SMG fire rate, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's the, the gist. Uh, I don't think there's anything more to explain. Uh, I'm just using the Legendary Micromancer class mod, a Shavis patch to up my damage or fire rate, and what you call it? A Contraband Skyrocket. This is one of the grenades you get from owning. Either building the game or owning the game of the year edition. It scales up to level 72, but according to my research, which I did, uh, it doesn't scale up to level OP1 to OP8, so we, sh we are probably going to change the grenades at a later point. Uh, I have some like badass ranks uh, from playing the game way too much, and if and I'm just gonna, yeah, put some of Apple's things in here, post-edit, because I love doing edits, you know, you guys know that. So if you guys have any, like, uh, what you call them, questions about Apple's build, you'll be able to see them right about now, or something like that. If I remember to edit this episode. Anyways, let's get started. So, uh, actually we missed the, the first part. Not the first part, the first two voice lines of the game because, I don't know, the Claptrap just decided to run off. But basically, we have to defend Claptrap from uh, some monsters down there, some bullying monks, I think. Yeah, there they are.
Did I throw a grenade? Give me a second. I'm having some problems with my frame rate. Much better. Sorry, guys. Uh, don't know why, but I was adding all the FPS. Yeah, as you can see, we're pretty off of as long as we have our shields. Oh, I also forgot to mention. Yeah. Yeah, Flint. Shut up, Claptrap. Yes, I suppose I am in your debt now, aren't I? Come to my shack and I shall restore Claptrap's sight. First, I shall shut off the electrical fence for you. Anyhow, I was... Oh, come on. Alright, don't, don't, don't start the conversation yet. Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. Anyways, before before we get interrupted again by Sir Emerlock, I would just like to point out that Yes, I'm killing stuff by pointing at the ground. That's how the fiber works. If you haven't noticed. Oh, we can really see it in the snow, but come on, is there any surface that Right, you can kinda see it here. Yeah, the, um, the first bullet bounces off at a like 45 degree angle. You can see it in the top of the screen there. So yeah, that's why I'm at the ground. It, it's kind of easy to use, especially because I don't have any accuracy, because I'm a Micromancer. So you, you just like spray and pray and, until you hit something. Alright, let's let's meet up with Sir, Sir Emerlock. That's right. Yeah. A pleasure to meet you, Vault Hunter. I am Sir Hammerlock. At your service. At your service. I came out here to research the bully moment for my almanac that Captain Flint's men trapped me on this glade. Many thanks for disposing of them, by the way. But to fight a direct running with Handsome Jack and defeat Captain Flint's bandits, unheard of. I'm headed to Sanctuary myself. From what I hear, the Crimson Raiders there could use a hero like you. Now, if you could hand me the robot's arm, please. All right. What? This to this and that should do it. <laughs> I am alive. Oh dear, he's talking again. Mission. Yep. Now I've got my eyesight back, and you're far uglier than I remembered. Time to join up with the Crips and Raiders in Sanctuary. This glacier's full of nothing but murderers and jerkbags, like that hammerlock dude. I'm standing right here, dude. Now that Lyersburg is cleared, I might as well turn on the main power. This town's full of things that may be of use to a go-getting slayer of men like yourself. Minion, roll out! I see our fearless leader Jack is looking for you. Charming fellow, isn't he? Spouts drivel about bringing peace to the frontier, then shoots unarmed men, women, and children like it's going out of style. Ah, he's spouting exposition again, aren't I? Apologies! Yeah. This guy would be good at cinema sins. Yay, let's bring it in his quest. Resistance must have disconnected it before they left the sanctuary. Not even finish Tolkien. Ah, well, just speak to me instead. Yay. So we've done the first mission, which is to clean up the bird. This town used to have a spectacular amount of hustle and or bustle before its citizens fled the sanctuary to escape Jack's army. Most of them anyway. Captain Flint's men killed anyone who stayed.
don't know, our objective is to escort Katja. Clint and I had a gentleman's agreement in the past. I give him the loot from the bodies Jack dipped in the glacier. He promises not to torture me for hours at a time. And he does it anyway. But that is today. We're gonna take him out, steal my ship back, and build a sanctuary. Yay, let's build the sanctuary. I don't want to comment on what Apples is doing there. He's playing with the pole. <laughs> yeah. Um, for the people watching, yes, the frame rate sucks. Get used to it. Uh, in Bolin's still in open areas, mm, everything just dies. No, oh, oh, trap. How did how these puzzles suck? How's your day been, buddy? We haven't really talked much since I uh, left you for dead. Hey, you think you'll freeze to death off that? No, probably not. Bandits will get you first. My day? Been pretty good. Just bought a pony made of diamonds. Yeah, because I'm rich. So, you know, that's cool. Goodbye. And that's handsome, handsome Jack. The main antagonist of the game. He's also got the diamond pony, so, you know, he means real stuff. He's a real manly man. Ah, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, Claptrap is annoying, but he has his moments. But Stallion. I wonder if we'll ever hear about that pony again. There's some racks. Watch out. I can just shoot straight at them. If they... Yeah, they hit. Alright. Let's go, clap out. And open. <laughs> I, I should probably clarify. The diamond horse I've been telling you about, it's not a or anything. It's a living horse that actually happens to be made of... Actually, I'll just, I'll go get her. Blood Stallion! Here, girl! Blood Stallion! <laughs> Say hello! Yeah. <laughs> Blood Stallion says hello. Before we go on in this fight, I would like... I'm the ammo! Shut up, clap clap. I would like to say that we can finish all the boss fights in like perfect timing because the game is stupid and it will probably lock up. So we have to wait a little bit before we can start killing them. Ah, yeah, I'm sure this is good enough. Oh, are you okay? Don't need to shout about that. Jesus Christ, watch that. 
Oh yeah, uh, if, yeah. If you haven't played Borderlands before, there's a lot of items in the porta potties. So uh, yeah, don't judge us, okay? Cloud Tower shut up. That guy's just floating. Whoops. Yeah, that guy's still just floating. You couldn't come out now. I'm pretty sure that most of them are dead yet. Can you see this guy floating? No, right here? Oh, he's dead now. Oh, there's his friends. No, oh, some iridium. Good. Oh, here come some stupid racks. Before we had we done to uh, what we call it that ship, I would like to end the episode here since it's been like 17 minutes, and if we start going on the ship, there would, wouldn't be any real good time to stop in the middle. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the new series. Please go ahead and like and comment. On the first episode, it helps uh, much. Like because of the search engine uh, so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode see you guys soon